In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up an instant gratification release on Apple Music slash iTunes, specifically on DistroKid, but in general, this will apply for any distributor because it's more or less the same thing for every distributor. So if you're not familiar with the instant gratification release, I'll put a screenshot over here or somewhere on the screen where uh, if you go to Apple, you'll notice that you can see upcoming releases and you'll be able to stream or, or buy releases immediately, but there'll be other tracks grayed out. So in the case of iTunes, if someone buys the album, they'll get certain tracks to stream immediately. The other tracks will become available on release day or at a future date. The way it works on Apple Music is they will be able to stream certain tracks and they can add the whole album to the library, but they can only stream the individual tracks that are already released. But artists can then go add more tracks to the release to be live throughout the whole process as instant gratification tracks. A lot of artists assumed that this was entirely locked down to major labels as a feature, but the reality is you can do this on DistroKid and a bunch of other distributors. And a lot of the time it comes down to just emailing your distributor or contacting them, which in some distributors is enormously difficult because no, very few distributors have actual customer support anymore. Um, but if you can get in contact with them, almost every distributor I've tried has a way to do instant gratification releases, whether it's on the website through a form or through communication with the distributor themselves. And believe it or not, it's actually incredibly easy to set this up. It's a little bit of a, it's a little scary doing it as you're gonna see, but but let, let me show you how this works. So uh, every time I wanna find this form, I just go to Google and type in DistroKid Instant Grat Track, because I always forget how to find it. But there's this article, does DistroKid support instant gratification on iTunes? You come here, it gives you some things and how to do it. Basically, you upload your album, you set a release date in the future, enable pre-order, and then you fill out this form. So, but I'll walk you through these steps a little in a little more detail. Now, this form is just an Airtable form um, where what you do is you first distribute, well, let me, let me show you this on DistroKid. And I apologize, I'm gonna have to blur a bunch of this out. But this, this first album down here, or EP album, it's a six track album. So I, I don't know if it's actually an EP or an album. I believe it's technically an EP, uh, but it's a six track EP. We distributed that first, and what we did is we distributed that everywhere. So this is done on every single platform. And we set it up for a pre-order. So that way it would be available on iTunes, uh, essentially at the pre-order date that we specified. And then what you do, let's say you know that you want track number one to be available to stream, like, I don't know, a week out. So after the album is on, on Apple and iTunes, it's been ingested and it's set up as a pre-order and showing up. What you do is you go to DistroKid again and you distribute the single that you want to appear live, the one that you want to be playable. And you distribute that to everywhere except Apple and iTunes. The reason for that is you probably don't just want it available on Apple. You probably want it to be available as a single on all the other platforms, but on Apple, you want it to be available as a thing. So you basically exclude Apple because you're going to take care of Apple in this form right a little confusing right but the album is done in full technically you could ignore the single and just do this but then it will only be available as a single in apple that's why you have to also distribute it as a separate release to everywhere except for apple so if we go back to this form essentially what you do here you fill out your artist name the email address the upc of the album and then the instant track track number so that just the track number for the specific songs you want to be live the isrc codes for those and then the date that they should be live and then the release date of the whole thing. So this is like essentially you just manually telling DistroKid, I want you to make these tracks available as instant gratification tracks on this date on Apple and iTunes. And then on DistroKid, the other releases that are not distributed to Apple and iTunes will be what goes live as a single on all the other platforms. So this, these singles here cover the other platforms and the album is everywhere in this form covers the instant gratification tracks. It's a little scary, not gonna lie, because this form doesn't look very official. It's just an Airtable form, which is just a fancy Google form. But every time I've done this, it just works. <laughs> um, I fill out the form, the track shows up on the right day, but it's a little terrifying the first time you do it because you're like, I wonder if this is gonna work. Now there are a few rules when it comes to instant gratification releases. You can see them here. It has to be done for releases with at least three tracks. It has to be available for pre-order and you can't, have more than 49% of the tracks available as instant gratification. So if you're a 10 song album, the most you can have is four tracks as instant grat. You can't do more than four tracks. Now, one thing I wanna bring up, Spotify has a brand new thing, right? This whole countdown pages thing that I've talked about, you can check out this video here. 
I don't entirely know how that works. You know, I've made, <laughs> I've made videos uh, talking about it, but I don't know how this is gonna complicate that process. Do we handle the other tracks by distributing them or do we just go in the back end of Spotify? I believe we go in the back end of Spotify and just turn them on but I'm not 100% positive. I do have access to someone that has a countdown page, so I've seen the back end of it, but I'm not an admin, so I don't know exactly how they were able to choose which tracks go are like streamable as instant gratification tracks. But this is how you do it on Apple, and ignoring the showcase thing, this is how you do balance between instant gratification on Apple and then singles on every other platform, and specifically with DistroKid. If you're using a different distributor, if you're using a fancy distributor, and by fancy distributor, I mean a distributor that takes a percentage of your income, like The Orchard, for example, <laughs> um, or even uh, Vidya, for example, typically they'll you'll just have a rep that you can email whenever you want, even hop in Zoom calls with them, so that just do that for those. But if you're on like a regular distributor, an indie distributor, you know, DistroKid, CD Baby, Amuse, uh, TuneCore, um, you're gonna wanna hit up their support or find the form like this on DistroKid or peruse on the website and see if there's a thing on their site where you can set this up. Um, but every distributor I've ever asked, which is not a, a lot, has been able to do instant gratification request forms, including my own distributor, Melodis, which I'll have a link down below. Uh, you just hit up the support on the when you're logged in. There's a thing at the bottom, like contact support. You just say, I want to do this, and they'll be able to set it up for you. And if you have trouble, you can you know contact support as well, because it's a little scary doing this. But um, every distributor I've talked to has been able to pull this off. So if you wanna check out more about Spotify countdown pages, check out this video right here because it's exciting and it's new and you're probably curious about what it is. And if you wanna learn how you can promote your music on Spotify and other platforms like Apple Music using meta ads, check out this video right here to see the whole process from start to finish. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.